Hello everybody. Welcome to Big Poppy's Lab. We're gonna make us a meatloaf today. All right. What we got here? I don't know. Can y'all see that? Yeah. What we got here is a about a half a cup of onions. Gonna put them in this bowl here. About a half a cup of uh, sweet bell peppers and just regular green bell pepper. We got that going right there. Let me get around here to this refrigerator. Hope everybody's doing fine. I know I am. Trying to stay cool down here in Texas. You know it's hot. Yes, sir. It is hot. Big Poppy trying to stay cool. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take about a little over a tablespoon of butter. Put it in there like that. We're going to take this. We're going to stick it in our microwave. Let it soften up a little bit. We'll set it about two minutes. Let that go. All right. In this bowl, I got maybe, what, about two pounds of hamburger meat. I'm going to go ahead and get this taken care of. Squeeze this out. I think this is. It's kind of fatty. It's what they call it, 70, 73, 27, something like that. I don't know. I just buy the meat, y'all. That's all I do. I don't care nothing about the fat content. We don't care nothing about no stinking patches. Okay. Now, as far as our seasonings go. Yep, y'all can see that. I got a tablespoon of paprika. I got a teaspoon of garlic. I have a teaspoon of onion powder. I have a teaspoon of black pepper. I got a tablespoon of chili powder. Uh, y'all didn't y'all didn't see that coming, did you? And I got uh, a tablespoon of adobo. All right, we got a can of soup. I'm going to look at my stuff back here. That's tomato soup, y'all. Let me look at this. Oh, yeah, see? Just want to soften them up a little bit. See that? So we're going to take that out. Let that cool down a little bit. All right. Now, you're going to have to get your hands in here. So we want that to cool down. So we're gonna put some of this tomato soup in there and mix it around so it'll help cool it down. Okay? So we're gonna reserve maybe a half a cup of that. Why don't I put it in here? I was moving a little fast. I'm gonna reserve about a half a cup of it to go on top. Dress it up a little bit. It don't matter if you get that, them vegetables in there. Yeah, just like that. See that? That's gonna be our sauce on top. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. Yeah, I hope y'all are having 
a real good day. And I want you to take this time right now to stop and hit that notification bell and subscribe. Go ahead and comment. Tell Big Poppy a big hello. We got what we got here? Okay, we got three eggs, slightly beaten. Yeah, y'all go ahead and tell Big Papa hello. And uh, tell somebody else about Big Papa. We trying to make this thing grow. I know I laid off for a little while. You have to forgive me. I'm old. I need a break. But now I had to work on my other house down there. I didn't have to. I could have had somebody else do it. But there's no satisfaction in having other people do it for you. Okay. Now, we got this all together. We're just going to mix it in there. All right. Get that all put in there. And get this scraped out real good. And get it in my, my water over there. My dish water. Yep. I'm going to hit my hands one more again. With some water. Rinse them off a little bit. Because I'm going in. Big Poppy going in. Yep. That's what he going to do. He going to get in here. Yeah. See that? Try to keep that one hand free. But the poppy going in. Yeah. I'm not putting no wish to share in it. Nope. I'm not putting breadcrumbs in it. Nope. The poppy just gonna mix it up just like this. And then he gonna get him a pan. And we're going to cook this bad boy up and pray that it hold together because I'm not using any binder. Got to wash my hands. One more again. So I can get me a... Okay, y'all. That's that. We're gonna get us some pan to cook this in. Okay, y'all. As you can see, Big Papa done started putting it in the pan. Get that moved over a little bit. Pat that. Get it good and shapely. Looking mighty fine, looking mighty fine. I got my oven preheating back here at uh, 350. Yep. You don't want to do it too fast. I've cooked it on a high temp before, but I just don't worry about it too darn much nowadays. All I know is, I just want it to stay together. There it go. Tell you what Big Papa do. I'm sorry for not talking, y'all. But Big Papa normally just kind of keep his hands a little wet. Pat it down. But that'll kind of help keep it from splitting. Now, something else Big Papa do. He normally take him 
a little water. And just kind of go around it. Let me cut that water off, y'all. Dang. I'm making all kinds of noise this morning. I'm going to go around it just a little bit. Just like that. Put a little water on top. Y'all ain't never seen that before, hey? I knew it. That may be more water than what I need. Get a little bit on my hand. Put it on top. Just like that. I'm going to pull some of this water off of here, y'all. That's more than what Big Papa wanted. Okay. I got it going now. That's it. We're going to stick it in the oven and let it roll. Hey, Miss Sylvia. We're going to stick it in the oven and let it roll, y'all. Okay, fam, I took it out. I uh, drained some of the oil off. As you can see, it didn't come apart on me. So we're going to top it with our soup. Then we're going to put it back in there and let that soup tighten up a little bit. Then we're going to bring it out and let it rest up. As you can see, it didn't bust open. Didn't crack all apart. I didn't have to put all them binders in there. Them eggs did their job. All that breadcrumb and stuff. I normally do. I normally put Worcestershire. But I'm trying not to do a lot. Just trying to get the job done. Just do enough to get the job done. Then when I let this tighten up. Yeah, that's looking good. That's going to be good. That's going to be good. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. We're going to put that back in the oven. I got me some... Got me some cornbread going. I'm going to take it out. Yep. And we're going to put this back in just for a little bit let it firm up because it's already done yep it's done y'all we'll be back okay fam there it is out of the oven gotta let it rest for a little while but it looked pretty darn good to me i'm gonna let it rest and then we're gonna I got me some, I got me some cornbread. I got me some mashed potatoes. Somebody's cooking some squash over there. And I'm gonna have me a meal. So by the time she get through with that squash, it ought to be time to eat that meatloaf. And I'll give y'all a thumbnail when I cut it. It ain't how you look in the kitchen. It's how you cook in the kitchen. You ain't got to look good to cook good. So get on in the kitchen and cook you up something good to eat. All right. Please like and subscribe. Tell somebody about Big Papa's channel. And I'll talk to you later. Okay, y'all. There's Big Papa's plate, as promised. Look pretty darn good to me. I got my squash, I got my potatoes, and I got that meatloaf. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I got some cornbread over here I'm gonna cut in a minute. 
That's it right there, y'all. Yep. <clears throat> All right. We out.